Hey guys, today I'll be showing you where to buy 35mm cameras, how to load them, and how to unload them. So let's get into it. So where do you buy 35mm cameras? The place that I went to was eBay. Uh, there's a lot of 35mm cameras out there, but you could also go uh, find a lot of them in thrift stores. If you look around, probably your parents or your grandparents have them. Alright, so now we're going to show you how to load and unload the 35mm camera. Alright, so for this video, I'll be using the Canon AE-1 program. First thing you want to do is actually open up the back door. So what you want to do first is pull up this rewind knob all the way until the back door opens up like so. We're going to go ahead and get our film out. This is Fuji Superior Extra 400. The ISO is 400. You'll need to know that in a bit. Alright, so what you're going to do is take the film and place it into the film holder right here. And you want to close the knob. So now it's locked in place. Now what we're going to do is going to pull this across to this spool right here. So we're going to go ahead and put it into the spool now. Just drag it across and you want to push it into the slot. Make sure the little notches are in the holes of the film and what you want to do now is just pull the advance lever. Now I'm going to close the door and now we're going to set the ISO. Here's the ISO. Remember the number on the film? That is the ISO. And all we're going to do is match ISO of the film with the camera. I already set it to 400. So ISO 800 is really good for low light, 400 is great for all occasions, and ISO 100 is good for super bright and sunny days. Alright, so now once you loaded the film, we're just going to go ahead and pull the lever again until, until the indicator says it's at zero. It should say it's at zero now. Once you finish loading the camera, all you have to do is look at the bottom of the camera and you see this button right here. You're going to go ahead and press that. And once you do this unlocks the spool and now you could use the rewind lever to pull it back. And then just take out the film when you're ready to uh, develop it. If you like what I do, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Other than that, I just hope you guys have a wonderful day. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.